Welcome to Breaking Down the Game. I'm Tyron Johnson, 10 year pro, currently playing in France. With Breaking Down the Game, I wanted to break down the game of basketball through film study and tips and drills that you can use to help improve your game. So sit back, pay attention, hope you learn something so you can go out there and make them pay. Let's get it. Giannis is a once in a lifetime player. He comes from humble beginnings and you can tell by the way he approached the game. He came in the NBA as a skinny kid from Europe and he has grown into a grown man. Let's get into it. First thing you will notice about Giannis is his strides. He takes real long steps to cover space. He takes off from outside the paint for a dunk. I know you travel gurus are gonna get on me, but that's a travel. But this is a big component of his entire game, outside of his high IQ and high intensity. Everything about him is length. His wingspan is about 7'3", sources say. That's insane. He also can dunk with both hands since his hands are so big. That gives him another option as he drives. One of his go-to moves is in transition. He attacks and brings the ball over his shoulder and across your face. This makes the defense back up. If you don't, you'll get hit in the face. Not many people are trying to take that type of punishment. After all that space, it's too much space for Giannis. He's too long, he will most likely finish or dunk on you. Giannis uses the Eurostep as his number one weapon in my opinion. He benefits from those long strides. He do the Euro step in many ways. He can go left and right and vice versa. He takes a hard dribble and step one way, then Euro and go over the top to finish. In the post, I notice he likes to get you moving. He's a great passer, so he's always hitting you with little micro moves to get you off balance and then he attacks. Look at this play how he fakes a pass, the defender rises up and that's all he pretty much needs. In this play, look at how he starts slow, then explodes. The defender was expecting another back down dribble. Once he lifted, it's too late. When he's in the paint, he has a ton of options. He struggles shooting on the outside, but on the inside, it's a different story. Reason being, he has many different options. At this distance, he can set you up with fades and up and unders. He fades when it's good defense and he's in the paint. Same when he's in the mid post on, on either side. Anytime your fade is efficient, it always sets you up for up and unders. He uses the inverted cross almost like another Euro step. This move is dangerous for a person like Giannis because all he wants to get you to do is shift your body. Once you shift your body, that's where his stride, strength, and length take over. One of his go-tos when he's driving is his quick spin. Whenever he quick spins, there's a couple of things you need to worry about. First, he sells the drives, then spins back. Second, he looks to bump you on the spin. Because once he bumps you, he creates that space. And once he creates that space with those arms, it's over. He's dunking on you. Giannis runs the floor like a deer and gets rewarded. He also seals early in transition. This is a good way to get yourself going. I notice when he's in transition, he throws the ball to his right hand. Then he has option. He can go inverted cross, hezzy, or long euro step. When he's at the top of the key, the coach gives him some freedom. This is where... He likes to get creative with passes or ISO situations. You see, he's not very shifty, but he has height and length over this guy. Bump, knee, shield, and one. 
When it comes to rebounds, the guy hunts rebounds. He's a pest on the board and getting putbacks. He's going to score a lot of points because of this. He's scoring at all three levels, not the three so much, but when you add in offensive rebounds and free throws, those are point maximizer. He has a quick second bounce, add in long arms, and he's going to rebound a lot of his misses. On screens, he's looking to roll most of the time. He's not really a pick and pop guy. He's a good screener though. Look at the guard's neck on this play. After that, the big has to guard Middleton because of his ability to shoot. But that gives Johnny space and a clear path to the basket. Once that happens, it, it's over. Giannis never really spots up. He's either moving off the ball or handling the ball. When he does shoot the three, it's off the dribble. He has to dribble up to a three instead of being spotted up or relocating. Shooting is going to be difficult for Giannis. His hands are huge and he still has some mechanical problems. I, st I still see a slight hitch in the shot. Many times he's shooting on his way down. This may be the reason why his jump shot is not consistent. He's definitely been shooting the ball better, but this is an area he still needs to address. Giannis is a super athlete. Most of his athleticism is done on one leg. He jumps explosively off of one and two feet. He's more of a one leg jumper though. He has to do a lot of bounding exercises because he's stable and explosive while being on one leg. I think the most underrated aspect of Giannis' game is his IQ. He played guard in Greece and I think he kept those skills. That's why he's good at reading the defense and being a big time team player. Last but not least, the thing I love the most about Giannis is his intensity. He's playing a game with a purpose. He's playing a game to dominate. That separates him from a lot of players. Where he lacks in talent, he makes up for it with his intensity. At 26, Giannis is just getting started. He'll be a force to reckon with for a while. If you like this breakdown, use it to work on your game. If you need additional help working on your game, check out my online training products at tyronjohnson.com training. While you're on that site, also check out the Truth Life podcast. Links in the description. Besides that, thanks for watching. And until next time, make them pay.